So we got there in the end, um, the springs are on and I've checked and double checked and they are the correct way round. Um, so next we'll be fitting them to the chassis. So I'm going to do part 32 and 33 together which is the fitment. Now here we go, I will start with the front axle. And we seem to be correct. I'm going to slip the pins in so hopefully it will stop any movement. Funny how the last one doesn't want to go in. That's it. So now the fun bar part. Lots of little eclipses. Probably lots of drop in them. This could be the first one. Yeah, we've got the first one in, so we'll do the other one. Now this is posing a problem. The, um, the E-clip I can't get on, so I'll do the other side at least. Yeah, these, it's fiddly, the Eclipse. It's very hard to try and show this. I've got two in. I'm going to do the rest off camera, but um, there's the problem. 
the gap is too wide. So what I've got to do is, is try and crush it together with a somehow and get it to fit better, better. But definitely there's a bend in the bracket. So I'll take the pin out, move the spring and clamp it gently. I don't want to go too mad, so I don't want to damage it. I don't know whether these little clamps have got enough pressure in them. No, still not enough. That's weird. Right, I'll finish this off on camera because you've got the rough idea what we've got to do is uh, fit the springs. I'll fit the rear ones as well and let you know if I have any more issues further along. I did think I would have a session without something being wrong on this. Both axles are on. Um, I had to use a pair of ply long nose pliers in the end on here and crush it but very carefully and we've got that into shape um, the rear we had no trouble so I'm quite happy with that the way it's going now um, but that completes stage 32 and 33 now actually the last stage is fitting the axles was actually up to stage 35 not 33 so stage 36 is fit in the front left shock and it uses um, an M312, an M314, two, uh, two 6x3x2 by by millimetre spacers and one M3 nut. So obviously the nut will be on the upper section. It also says find the 70mm shocks. Well, as you've got two short ones, and we've got four long ones, and there's only two on the front, it doesn't need working out that it's going to be the, sh the shorter ones. So we've got to take the 14mm, go through the nice, they're only sprung, but they're, they're nice. And then the spacer through the bracket and wind on the nylock which I'm going to make a prediction it's going to barely bite oh it did call me a liar a bit more than I thought there was going to be Wind until it's sort of tight but not too tight and then on the bottom it's the other screw which we will need a little bit of thread lock as we're going into metal another one of these spacers And then try and get it. I can't get this in view. You've got to get it in the hole on the lower part of the axle. Might be easier to fit the lower next time and the upper afterwards. 
because this doesn't want to thread. Have we got it? I think we have. There we go. And that's one spring on. So now that completes stage 36. Now stage 37, 38, I'm going to just show 37 because 38 is identical but the other side. You need an M330, two M312s, one M3 nut, two 3mm spacers and two 5.5 spacers. So the first thing we we you've got to make sure you get the longer shocks this time. But well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the bottom first this time, as it was a little bit more awkward. That way it'll be easier for me. That makes sense. So. Um, As you can see, and then the other side. I'm going to put these in even because I don't know how deep the screws will go because there is a possibility they could actually touch. Here we go. Now this side, the hole weren't very good. That's tight. Tighten the other side and that will do it. Then we can flick over and it says shock spacer mount spacer shock. So there's shock spacer mount spacer. shock and the nut there we go so once I've done the other side, that completes up to 38. Now, part 39 shows the transfer box. Um, that's what it shows. Um, next page. Manual's not happy. I've told it like this. Um, part 40 shows putting it in. Um, shows it this way round. And on the drives out, there's two fur further apart, two nearer together. The two nearer together go to the front. And so just plonk it in. Um, the case is actually plastic on this. If that makes sense. Just seeing, yeah, it can only go one way up. And then it's held in with four M4 
three millimeter screws and you don't need thread lock because the funny enough it's all metal apart from the the casings so so they show flip it to get it in Yeah, not too bad to get to. And I like said the other two from the other side. But it is intriguing that you've got two outputs to the rear. That must be for another vehicle to use um, a double output. I can't remember if they do a truck with two axles where they use uh, ones over the top so it's double drive out. Well that concludes up to stage 41.